What's up guys, I'm the Jack of all trades. And today I'm bringing you a budget play review, a total hidden gem here, Margus Hunt, left end. He's a 76 overall. Uh, well, here's his, here he's a 75 overall because I got him for whatever reason lined up in the pass rushing specialist uh, position. So it, for some reason it brought his overall down a little bit. Um, but here he's got so many crazy stats. He's 6'8", 295 pounds, 76 speed, 79 acceleration, 77 strength, 76 jumping with 75 trucking for some reason. Uh, I don't know why, but I'll take it. Um, he's also got 60 catching, so he makes the perfect uh, QB spy if you're trying to spy a lineman. Like, and there, you know there's so many mobile quarterbacks, so many guys are playing with Mike Vick, Donovan McNabb. Um, Marcus Hunt is a must-have, in my opinion, um, especially for salary cap mode. But here you'll see, I just have him sort of rushing the passer as a defensive tackle. That's where I lined him up. Um, he gets some nice sheds, and he always finishes the playoff, man. He really does. His tackling is kind of low for um, what you would want, obviously, out of a, a really good defensive lineman. Um, but he's got 80 block shed and 81 pursuit, so he just screams to the ball every time. And he, he hits those um, that like middle to high tier thresholds being in the 80s for both of those categories, which is um, really vital for being a well, D tackle one. And then for someone you want as a QB spy slash someone you're going to be blitzing a lot, he's going to take the perfect angles to get to the ball. As you see his 6'8 height coming into play there, batting down that pass from Aaron Rodgers with his 76 jumping, total freak. And um, if you QB spy this guy and send him, he's going to take the perfect route. And he's kind of sneaky quick too because he normally looks a lot fatter than uh, <laughs> what people are expecting. So they think they can kind of outrun him. Um, I, I know as of late, apparently, like maybe just this recent patch, EA updated Marcus Hunt's look, so now he's a little slimmer, but you'll see in some of these clips he's looking pretty thick. So uh, a lot of guys are going to be expecting to outrun him, but um, the 60 catching here, as you see, I got so many picks with him, but um, most of the time I just didn't even record it. I didn't even save it because I figured, I was like, yeah, whatever, it's just like nothing new. Like he does it all the time for me. Um, but luckily I saved this one because he housed it. And you see the speed. You see this guy's got wheels. He outran Brandon Cooks. So he didn't get chased down from behind. Um, he's quick. The boy can run at 6'8", 295 pounds. Here you see him closing in, being a QB spy. Um, like I said, I had him lined up at D-tackle, my second D-tackle spot. Um, if I was playing a guy like Mike Vick, Donovan McNabb, Cam Newton, I put him on the field, QB spy him, and they're getting clamped. Like, look at him trying to outrun Margus. He can't. It's, it's the pursuit match, matched with that speed. And um, there you see him being aware enough to recognize that there was a screen right there and he ran with Marge, um, Melvin Gordon there and broke up that screen pass um, which could have been a huge gain for that guy so um, Margus is a total baller here you see he's taking a perfect angle again to stop him um, he's just a total beast like you gotta pick this guy up he's gonna be so cheap too um, for his rating and everything all things considered but yeah you see him in the pass rush game honestly he's he gets really great block sheds a lot of times and he's so quick Sometimes he really just blows right past the, um, the offensive line. It's uh, it's really glitchy. Some of the some of the animations he gets. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he he is a must-have. I like to play him at D tackle. You could do him at defensive end, but um, right there you'll see in the run game, he's just a total beast. He really is. He's perfect with the 80 block shed. Is just enough, I guess, because um, that and plus his weight must must allow him to break through a ton of double teams as you see there like he's not just breaking off one guy he's not getting single teams he's getting double teams and powering right through it look at here the stop on barry sanders for a gain of nothing those, those are all tackles for losses or um tackles of not like gain of nothing um for the offense and then another crazy thing too maybe it's his i think he's got pretty low awareness but anytime the ball hits the ground margus is picking it up i don't understand why maybe it's like qb spy him a lot um, but there he was in QB spot, so I don't know. But anytime that ball hits the turf, um, Margus is scooping it up. He's it's maybe his pursuit, I guess, that 81 pursuit. But um, he's just flying all around the field. You'll notice him. He's gonna get a ton of assist tackles too. But there he is scooping the ball up again. Like he's just a total freak. And then another thing, also, you should put him as your backup left outside linebacker, right outside linebacker too. Because bang, him on the kickoffs, are, it's nuts. He's he's a great special teamer. At the least, you should make him your. Um, your special team kickoff guy because he's a total beast on special teams uh, as you see him flying by to get the sack there and here he just swallows up uh the quarterback for the packers here and that was on josh Sitton too so overall get this guy he's a total budget beast i can't recommend him enough he's only like 2,000 coins just get him just pick him up all right so uh that's been my review if you like this video leave a like subscribe if you want to see more i've been the jack of all trades i'll talk to you guys next time